All right, everyone, I'm Angela Reed here with the lady of the hour, Miss Monica Pearson and her husband, John. Welcome. We're so Thank glad you. to have you all tonight. It's a pleasure. Now, what did you, what was your initial reaction when you heard that you were going to be the first of the series for The Lives Untold? Well, did you feel like there was any aspect of your life that was not told yet? Well, actually, they asked some really good questions, and I was very honored to be the first. But it's interesting. We spent a great deal of time together, and I think for Drew, it became a learning experience because I would make him ask me questions in another way to get the information that he really wanted. So for me, it was fun doing it, and for him, it was a learning experience. And I hope he takes what he learned by interviewing me to the rest of the group who are lives untold. <laughs> There was a lot of stuff out there, but I think Drew got some things a lot of people didn't know. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. That's great to hear. Now, your partner here, partner in crime, what do you feel is something that is untold about Miss Pearson here? I, I think you've all uh, got all the, all the stories, and anything that's not been told probably shouldn't be. <laughs> well, we will keep that right there, then. he has to go home with me. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Right, we were, y'all gotta ride the same car. Now, what is something you want young aspiring journalists, reporters, um, directors to take from the series? That our stories are important, and that when you interview someone, it's important to think of who's going to be looking at that interview, and to not just look at the professional aspects of that person, but to find out the things that are really at their core, the things that make them who they are. And that means sometimes asking questions that some people would say, I can't believe you asked that, or they think it's embarrassing. But to me, there's no such thing as a dumb, silly, stupid, or embarrassing question, as long as it gets you information you didn't have before. And that's what I want young journalists to think about, to constantly be curious, and not to just take things at face value, but ask, what's behind what I see? And I think when we start doing that, every person you see on the street, even if it's, quote, a bum, that person has a story. What were they before they became who you see? What's their family background? Why are they there now? Everybody has a story, and I think whether you're a cinematographer or the interviewer or the writer or the producer, you've got to be able to tell the story with content, context, and feeling. I love that. I love that. Thank you for that. Now, last question before we release you. What's next for Monica Pearson? Yes. John says, <laughs> John says, I really haven't retired. I've just retired from Channel 2, but that I'm still doing a lot of other things. Um, I have to write a book. I'm finally going to get around to writing a book on my mother's favorite sayings because there are life stories to go with them. And I'm taking piano lessons now. So John got me a baby grand for Christmas. And so I am learning to play the piano. I'm out at Clayton State. And I guess the only other thing left to do would be... <laughs> Take a break and a vacation. Like. We are taking a vacation what soon. That? What is the vacation? <laughs> call it retirement. I call it rewirement. That's it. Yeah. I love that. Well, the city of Atlanta loves you, and we're so thankful that you were the first to be a part of the docu-series, The Lives Untold. Miss Monica Pearson and her husband, John.